you? What? Seed. No. Should you leave us alone? Ready when you are. All set. Let's get it over with. And done. Great. Oh. Ah. Three, two, one. Now, eat it. You? Yep, saw that. Booyah. See you around. Oh. Are you all right? Ready when you are. Ready. Bye-bye. Yes. Come on. Don't be scared. A big bug like you. Nice and ripe. We made it. Still no clue as to why the Dracker had this location in this memory. Come on, let's keep going. Are we saving those for later? Of course. Did you feel that tremor? Yes, and I don't like this at all. This one's a little rotten, isn't it? You're a little rotten. Huh? Sorry, was reflex. Mmm, not bad. Hey, that's for cooking. Are we eating soon? Are you already hungry? Wow. I was wondering if we'd ever find one. What is it? A drone charging station. For those that aren't built to harvest their own flow. Just like our old Drekker buddy. That would explain why its location was still in its memory. You mean to tell me that this is some sort of flow pump? No. I mean, that's exactly what it is. That's... Awesome! Do you think it still works? Let's see. Uh... What's the matter? Uh, it says system malfunction error log sent. Sent? As in... I don't know, Kay. Scent. Uh... Did we tattle on ourselves just now? If the apiary is receiving a message coming from Source, they're gonna know it's us. Uh, hold on. Can this thing really beam a signal all the way to the apiary? We're millions of lumsec away from the closest planet. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's true. Uh, I'm probably overreacting. Until we figure it out? We probably shouldn't stay near this thing.
Should we take a closer look? We're all good. Ready? Go, go, go! You? Yep, saw that. Aha! Uh Great job. You're welcome. Are you all right? On your mark? Anytime. Oh, come on. You know what to do. Yep. Oh! Oh, blue! One left. Ready when you are! Booyah! Let's get it over with. And done. That was easy! On your mark, now! You? Yep, saw that. All set, now! Oh, that looks bad. This one's my- Boom, baby! One to go. On your mark, anytime. This one's ready. I got this. He's ripe for the picking. Harvest time. Done and done. It isn't right yet. Now what is this? No idea. But his engine hood would be a great fit on the nest. Is that even possible? Yes. Engine hoods are one of the very few standard bases in the entire space industry. Someone got all the manufacturers to agree? No. One manufacturer gobbled all the others. <laughs> Same result. All right then, let's go. Huh? Go where? Well, to the nest. Aren't we taking the hood? Yes, sir. Let's go. Let me know if I can help. I am happy to say that is over and done with. You know, that is one nice vehicle. Of course. I'm the one who built it. Hmm. Huh. Do you still consider this the same nest as the one you fixed up as a teenager? What do you mean? Well, we just changed the engine hood. I just changed the engine hood. Yes, okay, you did. But this isn't the first thing you've changed on the nest. And I hope it isn't the last one either. So, my question is, at what point does the nest, the one at the beginning, stop being the nest? Was it the first time you changed a part? Or will it be when you replace the last original part? 
assuming you haven't done so yet. Does it happen sometime in between? Afterward? And even then, before you fixed it up the first time, all the spare parts that would eventually make up the nest, were they already the nest? What about you? Are you still K? Huh? Your body cells are constantly renewing, aren't they? Ever since you were born, you probably don't have that many cells in common with the K from the beginning. Actually, you two may not have a single cell in common. So, are you still K? I'll let you ponder that one. K! We need to go home now! You can think about that tomorrow, okay? All right, give me those medicinal plants of yours. Time to fire up the synthesizer. With this thing, we'll be right back on our feet. Are you sure you know how? I have a synthesizer in my ship. Of course I know how these work. Uh, no, wait, that's not the way. I know what I'm doing. Really? Because at this stage, you should... Uh, look, I've always done it this way, and it's always worked out. You're not gonna tell me how to use my own synthesizer. All right. All right, as you wish. What do you say about that? All right. I didn't know you could also do it that way. And? Sorry I doubted you. And? Uh, I love you? Okay. That's not what I was expecting, but it'll do. You know, this planet in bits is pretty weird. <laughs> Are you just realizing this now? No, but, I mean, having self-standing bits gravitating around a larger core would make sense. It could be a sign of a young planet still in formation. But why would the apiary try to colonize such a jumble? From a logistical standpoint, it makes no sense. That's true. They must have had a very good reason. Unless... What? Unless Source wasn't in this condition when they arrived. What? What do you mean? Did the Apiary cause this to happen? I didn't say that, but it's a possibility. If we keep on exploring, we should know more. All right, you can open your eyes. Surprise anniversary! Huh? <laughs> I meant to say surprise, and then I thought happy anniversary, and I panicked. Whose anniversary is it? It's our anniversary. One month on Source. Already? Yeah, I mean, give or take a few days. It went by fast. Yeah, remember the time we almost died crashing on this planet? And the time we almost died in an earthquake? Ah, and the time we almost died fighting that critter? I hope this is only the beginning. And that I'll have many more chances to almost die with you. Aren't you a charmer? So, are you gonna open your present? Well, our present. Sure, sure. Uh-huh, what is it? Fermented apple dews. I stuck him in the soaker tub to accelerate the process. I'm calling it Apple Brew. Hmm. Do you think that it's any good? Well, worst case scenario, we just wasted some apple dews. No big deal. Should we open it now? 
We can open it whenever you want. To us. To us. Hey, that's really good, actually. <laughs> that really strong, too. Do you remember the first time you talked about leaving the apiary? <laughs> of course. I'd had a shouting match with my mom. I was just angry. No, oh, before that. Before? We had landed the nest on a hilltop, we were stargazing, and you said, Come on, let's go. Mm hmm? I haven't stopped thinking about it since that day. I think that's what pushed me to dig into the Astro Company archives, which led me to find the coordinates of Source. I wanted to be ready for the day. Wait, wait, when was that? I don't remember. Right at the beginning, you and your mom got in a fight, you hopped into the nest at night, and you picked me up at my house. Was that when we went to the uplands? Yes, the uplands, that's it. Oh. <laughs> Blute, I remember. It was in Frosember, it was super cold out. I was freezing, I just wanted to get back into the nest. That's why I said, let's go. And since you didn't respond, I thought you wanted to stay outside, so I didn't push it. I actually caught a beast of a cold that night. Wait, so that means if I hadn't misunderstood that night... I wouldn't have caught a cold. No, but wait. You don't realize how deep this goes. That means we would never have known about Source. We would have never come all the way here. We would probably still be stuck in the apiary. Sure, but if I hadn't caught a cold, I would have never been stuck in bed for a week. And you would have never visited me for tea with armloads of homemade cookies. And you would have never hung out with me for hours on end when I looked like a ghost. And I wouldn't have fallen in love with you. So who knows, maybe I'd be living happily in the apiary with my mate. Which means that beforehand... We had known each other for like three weeks, Kay. Do you really think that I fell head over heels the first time I saw you? I know I fell head over heels the first time I saw you. Oh, okay. You just like my looks then. <laughs> no, that's not what I meant. You mean you don't like the way I look? I have a feeling there's no right answer. Then don't answer. And done. It's all straightened out. Everything's tidy and clean. Besides us, that is. <laughs> yeah, we are kind of stinky. Off to the shower then? Ah, Blute. What is it? I just mobbed the bathroom. Oh. Do you think we can marinate another 10 to 15 minutes in our own filth? <laughs> Honestly, can do.
I don't get it. People always make a big deal about salty sweet, but never peppery sweet, which it turns out is delicious. Anything would seem delicious to you, seeing your diet in the last few days? True, but don't let that take away from your cooking talents. You're just wanting to finish my plate, aren't you? <laughs> Since you're offering. What are you looking for? My necklace, you know, with the metal. Where is the first place you look for it? I'm asking because you usually find things in the first place you looked. Where it's supposed to be, around my neck. And it's not around my neck. All right, all right, I'm just trying to help. If you want to help, help me look for it. I'm looking, I'm looking. Uh. You know we'll find your metal eventually. The nest isn't that big. Huh. What if I lost it outside? Ah, uh, yes. That would be a problem. Worst case scenario, we can make another one. Which do you want? Metal for best cook? For distinguished service under the sheets? You don't understand. I've always had that metal. Since I was a baby. This is the last memory I have of my parents. Okay. In that case... Uh, and you never take off your metal? No. Except when I shower, I guess. The string doesn't do well in water. So, did you check out the shower area? Huh. Got it! You're the best, you! It's not like there was a lot of competition. So, oh, what's this rocky chunk got to say? Well, for starters, it says it's not a rock. Really? It's not living, is it? No. It's not mineral or organic. So, what is it? <laughs> Going straight to the hard questions. But that is not how science works. How does it work, then? First of all, you formulate a hypothesis. Then you build an experiment to test this hypothesis. You observe, and you learn. Okay, then what did you learn? That I'm lacking imagination regarding hypotheses? One thing we know for sure is that rust particles scatter immediately when in contact with flow. I'd like to observe this reaction more closely. You can do that next time. Right now, you should go to bed. Already? What time is it? No idea, but I know I'm sleepy. I don't want my snuggles before I crash. <laughs> gotcha. You know, this planet in bits is pretty. <laughs> I know what from a little. That's true. Unless what? Unless what? What do you mean? I didn't. But it's a pun. If we keep on exploring.
Is there any way I can help? No, nope, I'm almost done. Okay, but then after that, for it to grow, won't we need to water them or anything? Not these ones. The soil looks sufficiently flow rich for their needs. After all, they were already thriving when we got here. Does that mean we have nothing left to do before we have some fat homemade fruits? You could always sing to them. It helps. For real? No scientific study has ever proven the contrary. So, maybe? Do you think they'll like some acrobats? It'll be your mission to find out. <laughs> 